Hi all, I have another very exciting game to show you. Stockfish 5 with one CPU playing with the white pieces this time. So it is going to play one of the very aggressive openings set in this gauntlet, gauntlet match. So Leela 0 playing black plays e5, knight f3, knight c6. We have what starts to be the scotch game, but instead of taking on d4, we have the extreme end of aggression with bishop c4, the scotch gambit. Leela chess plays knight f6, white castles, knight takes e4. So at the moment, at this very moment, black is two pawns up, but with the king in the center, White now plays a standard method to get some material back here, which you may have seen before. White play. Okay, bishop takes d5. This exploits two pins in this position with, you may have seen this before, knight c3. So there's a pin exploited here and against the knight. So white gets back a pawn, but it's, it's still a pawn down for white. But look at the black king. And in fact, here actually is already interesting. The queen went to h5. So this is Leela ID 458, the queen going to h5. Now this might change in future versions. In our current state of human open opening book theory, it's actually thought to be better to play here in this position. This is a very dangerous position. And uh, one of the ideas just to show this line, knight takes bishop e6, knight e g5, black castles giving back a pawn. And this is thought to be a small edge for white, but not such a big deal, this position. So in the game, though, we have queen h5. Now, there's a slight problem with this, queen h5, technically, which we're going to see. Knight takes e4. Black still wants to try and castle queenside, but the problem emerges here with the queen's placement on h5, because after bishop g5, stopping black legally castling queenside, h6, can you see what Stockfish 5, the evil brute force chess engine, <laughs> chess engine brute, played in this position? If I give you five seconds. Okay. Bishop f6 exploiting actually the queen on h5 because if g takes then knight takes f6 check and then taking the queen. So you can see in our opening books, in our human opening books, we've kind of learnt from experience and queen a5 is like more popular than queen h5. It seems this is a big problem if black had an ambition to castle queen side. It's not happening at the moment. The queen now goes to d5. Uh, we do have in our books queen g6 it seems and this looks really awkward knight h4 queen h7 queen h5 and the king can try and crawl itself with king d7 to the queen side this is some horrible looking line but apparently if black can get here black might actually be okay <laughs> apparently but anyway uh, yeah, so maybe queen uh, g6 is the move here to play, to consider. So queen d5 was played. And uh, we have now a3, a6, queen d2, queen f5. And white now plays knight takes d4. After knight takes d4, queen takes d4. This is really dangerous for black. C5 was played. If G takes F6, Knight takes here. There's a loose rook on H8, but there's other issues here. There's also a loose rook on A8. So, for example, this line uh, is is good as well. So white here is uh, after after Knight F6. It's actually forget either rook. It's actually about things like queen f6 uh, and other horrible stuff and black would have to give up the queen so white's getting a massive advantage there so anyway leela poor leela with the king stuck in the center plays c5 queen d3 queen g6 rook a d1 building up force on that d file so queen d8 
check is now threatened. You know, like Morphe's mate. And this is a simple example just to show you. This is threatened. So Morphe's chat mate pattern of the uh, famous Morphe game, the Opera game. Uh, so anyway, so this is this is looking bad. G takes F6 is played, and the brute force power in chess is demonstrated. You can go far with brute force. Can you see a brute force forced checkmate sequence here? If I give you five seconds to pause the video, there's a forced checkmate here. So you might want to pause the video and analyze this to find the very forcing checkmate that exists in this position. And if you can find it, well done. Pat yourself on the back. Good tactically for forcing moves. Okay. Yeah. This is ouch town of the Queen D7 check. Only one move. Knight takes F6 double check. King D8. Rook takes D7 check. Forcing the king away from E8. Rook E8 check mate. So there you have it. I'm not just showing <laughs> Lila Chess winning. It can be on the receiving end. And I just wanted this as a kind of historical note for 458. I'm wondering if in future versions it will play more Queen A5 as a try rather than Queen H5 in this very sharp Scotch gambit. So if you against the Scotch Gambit, you might want to bear this in mind yourself that Queen A5 doesn't run into all this horrible stuff with Bishop G5. Unless you're prepared for this weird Queen Queen crawling around to H7, the Queen A5 line seems much more safe than, than the Queen H5 line. Just a little technical note there for you. Okay, comments, questions, likes, shares appreciated. Thanks so much.